I still haven't quite caught back up to myself yet, but I figure I might as well do the Chapter 2 PR missions while I'm, like, doing shit. So, yeah, you, you can't, like, go directly out to, uh, the me and high road, apparently, otherwise you get a deduction of points, which is lame. So yeah, I just finished up the interview at Luca, and so like I'm still at the very beginning of chapter two. Let's see, I think this stupid kid is something. Publicity fifth for this kid. <sighs> We're gonna be here for ages. This dude. Second option for publicity. This chick. Fourth for publicity and first for matchmaking. I was just thinking, good thing there aren't any encounters, that would make this so much worse. But of course there are encounters. Why is the TV getting mad cell phone interference? No problem. Back before I knew what that was, you know, the sound, uh, that was around the time that, um, Four Sword Adventures first came out for the GameCube. And we would be playing it with, uh, four people, and we didn't know what it was. But it seemed like every time someone was being a giant douche to someone else, then it would uh, make that sound. So we used to call it the jerk alert. It was like, like I would pick up my brother and throw him off a cliff to get some rupees, and then it would go, bah, 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 and we'd go, oh, jerk alert. It wasn't until many years later that I knew what it actually was. Trish chest. First for this dude on top. Oops, not much making. Third for that guy.
man, this true ending better be like the most amazing ending to any game ever. Because I've had to go through so much shit. Thanks. Come again. Always open. That's my little victory quote. I need a life. Who am I kidding? I have a life. In video games. Ha oh, ha 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 ha. to doing that chocobo uh, quest again. But at least I already know what to do pretty much. Just gotta like, not listen to Riku. It's kind of good, I guess, that I had to start over, because I missed two other things. Hello, LeBlanc Syndicate members, that I don't care about right now. Like, for the stupid, uh, Escort the Hypello mission, I didn't know that you had to talk to Tobley first so that he'll, like, give you the quest. He's basically just like, hey, I have a Hypello assistant, go get him, and I'll give you this. And he gives you the sphere anyways if you don't talk to him, but it's like a 0.1% towards the 100%, so it's recorded. The little, uh, little outline that basically is telling me what I'm supposed to do for 100%, that didn't, it didn't tell me that I was supposed to talk to Tobley first, because I just remember that quest from the first time I did it, I think that's, uh, that's how my friend got that quest when he was showing me this game. He just, uh, walked over and found the high color. And I was, like, looking at for something else on GameFAQs about this game, and I found out that you have to talk to Tobley, and I'm like, wow, thanks for telling me. Yeah. I guess it's... A good thing that I ended up having to start over anyways, because I would have gotten to the end with 99%, and I would have been so angry. Like, unbelievably angry. 
for this dumb chick publicity for matchmaking first. And on the South Leanne High Road, sort of. I'm thinking about doing more video game playthroughs and uploading them to YouTube like I am with this game. Uh, just because I got a bunch of games that I've had for a long time, but then never finished. Hi there. And this is really fun, so I'm thinking maybe I could do that with my other games that I need to finish, and it will be awesome. I'm thinking about doing a uh, Doom 3 for the first Xbox after this. I actually made it all the way to the final boss of that game. I tried like once or twice and lost both times, and then lost interest. <laughs> I had made a list of all the games that I wanted to do, but I think I lost it. I remember uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for Nintendo 64 is on the list. That's about it. Oh, Okami for PS2 was on it too. That game is fun. So is Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask, I like made, to, made it to the end of the third temple when I was a little kid. And... I have, the, like, the official Nintendo Power walkthrough, and I was following that, and, uh... I got to the very end, and you have all these different water valves. And so, it was... I'm sorry, but it was the last the one that I had to push, Let's and then, like, I'd be done with the entire dungeon. And so I pushed it, and water was supposed to come shooting out so I can use it as, like, a platform and jump across. But then nothing happened, and I was just like, fuck this game, in so many words. Oh, whoops, I didn't say it out loud. Publicity second for this chick, and matchmaking fourth. And publicity third for this guy. I like to say it out loud just in case I go through the menus too fast. Yeah, no one cares about you, stupid little girl. I'm gonna finish up the publicity. Stupid chocobo. Right. Stupid Riku messing you up. Like, I know what's over here. But it's not. Ever.
hate it when people don't read my status on, like, my IM. Like, I'll go get some fast food, and I'll set myself to a way, and then I'll come back, and there'll be, like, three people, like, hey, dude, what's up? Hello? Dude, what's up? Why aren't you talking to me? Cause I'm fucking away, idiots. And then, I also, like, set my status when I'm recording shit. It usually says, recording some shit, replies will be slow. And then, like, 50 people start talking to me, and it's like, Hello, dude, are you, are you there? I'm recording some shit. Replies will be slow. God. It's annoying. The ultimate, though, was, uh, someone was trying to ask me how I was recording, and I really, really get annoyed when people ask. I mean, just get a capture card. It's not that difficult. I mean, I, my friend, he was recording, and I was like over at his house, and I was like, oh, what is that? And he said, it's a capture card. So I was like, oh, cool. So then I went and looked up capture cards, and I said, which capture card do you recommend? And he said, Dazzle DVC 1000, which is what I use. And, you know, I don't mind, like, a conversation like that, but I mean. I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's just really annoying because I get asked like all the time and it's like it's not some giant mystery. It's common knowledge that people use capture cards to record. I don't know. So for this chick, uh, publicity fourth and matchmaking second. Oops, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I don't care. So should be just about done with this. And then I'll 
be uploading more PR missions as I'm going through chapter 2. Figure I gotta go to these areas for quests anyways, I might as well do the PR while I'm there. And then... I think I left off I'm ready the recording for of the storyline, um, like right after Beacon Out Island. It sucks because I had done a lot more than that recording, like all the way up to the end of chapter 2 almost. But you have to set like a capture file uh, with the program that I use. Like you have to name it before you start recording. And then so if you want to record a different video, you have to name it something else so that you don't overwrite it. Nice work. And so I stopped recording and then uh, went to go get a drink, you know, talk to my brother, and I had to remind myself before I left that I had to change the capture file name. But then when I came back I had forgotten. And I did like the little bit of PR that I have uploaded right now in chapter 2. And recorded over like an hour of junk. I was pretty sad. So I guess it's good that I have to start over. Because that would have been lost footage and I would have been sad. Some good stuff to happen. I'm ready for more. You'll see when I get to it, but it was some good stuff. This dude, publicity third, and then we're almost done. There's just two more girls that are like right outside the entrance to Luga, so it's like a bit of a jog. But then we're done, so it's like a and I'm learning all sorts Does of that abilities. Hurt? And I'm getting good experience. Except, before I had to start over, I already had all of these abilities. <laughs> and that was a much higher level. <laughs> Just is gone. jobs, sort of. You have to be pretty OP if you do all the side quests. Kind of like in the last remnant, only they make the final boss way harder in that game if you do all the side quests.
I was planning on doing a few more recordings with that game, but I was over at my friend's house and fought a lot of the bosses, so I, and I didn't bring my gear to record it. I guess I could have borrowed his, but I don't know. I didn't feel like it. I was like, whatever, I'll just do the demigod and the final boss. The demigod took me a, a few tries. I was bad. Same with the final boss, but I think I tried a, a few more times against the demigod. I was over at my friend's house and I fought him for like half an hour. Oh, I missed that trick. Uh, this chicken blue first for both options. And then this other chick second for publicity and fifth for matchmaking. But yeah, I was over at my friend's house and I fought the, the demigod. Was I saying demi fiend? It feels like I was saying that on accident. That's from Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. But anyways, the demigod. Uh, I was fighting that for like half an hour and then lost. I was pretty upset. Okay, I should probably heal. Why are they only going after me? So that's it for the publicity for me and High Road of Chapter 2. I'm gonna stop the recording for now and do some side quests and then record more publicity as I do it. <laughs>